You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban Kirimi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a written letter today from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah al-Ahmed al-Jabar al-Sabah, regarding the latest regional and international developments and other issues of mutual interest. In the presence of His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the letter was delivered to His Majesty the King by the Kuwaiti Emir Envoy, First Deputy Premier and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Sabah al-Khalid al-Ahmed al-Sabah and the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs and Acting Minister of Information, Sheikh Mohammed al-Abdullah al mubarak al Sabah. The Kuwaiti envoy delivered to His Majesty the King the greetings of His Highness the Emir of Kuwait and his wishes to the Kingdom and his people of lasting progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King welcomed the Kuwaiti Foreign Minister and his accompanying delegation and requested him to deliver His Majesty's wishes to the Emir of Kuwait and all Kuwaiti people. His Majesty expressed pride of the deep-rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development of these relations in various fields. His Majesty the King also stressed the need of concerted efforts in order to face all threats and challenges targeting the region. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the special envoy of the President of Kazakhstan and Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Akelbek Kamaldinov. The Deputy Foreign Minister delivered to His Majesty the King an invitation from the President of Kazakhstan, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, regarding the participation of the first summit of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation for Science and Technology, which will be held in Kazakhstan in September. He also conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the President of Kazakhstan and his wishes of further development and progress to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty the King requested the Kazakh Foreign Minister to deliver his greetings and wishes to the President of Kazakhstan and his wishes of prosperity to the Kazakhstani people. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for the invitation, wishing the summit all success in serving the march of development in Islamic countries. He also highlighted the strong bilateral relations between Bahrain and Kazakhstan, noting the keenness of the governments of both countries to further develop these relations to achieve their mutual interests. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of Kazakhstan under the leadership of President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev in serving the Islamic nation and reinforcing joint Islamic action. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace a number of royal family members along with kingdom officials. His Royal Highness emphasized that countering policies aiming at spreading chaos in the Arab world is the main goal of the terrorism combating countries, adding that no one should accept being a tool of instilling strife amongst brothers. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen on taking all measures that preserve its stability and would not compromise its sovereignty. He stated that the Kingdom has been subjected to many conspiracies but through the wisdom of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the vigilance of the citizens, these plots were thwarted, reinstating the people's solidarity. The Prime Minister also discussed with the attendees a number of issues related to regional and international affairs, and in this regard, he underscored the destabilizing policies that targeted the Arab countries have consumed their resources, calling on Arab nations to draw lessons from this. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, in the presence of the First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received members of the national junior team on the occasion of winning the title of the 14th Arab Junior Volleyball Championships in Jordan and the talented athletics team returning from camp in France. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid on the victory of runner Rose Chalemo achieving first place and the gold medal in the World's Athletic Championship Marathon held in London, affirming that this historical achievement made by Rose is considered the result of the leadership's commitment to sports as well as the Bahrain Athletics Association's efforts to develop the sports to achieve further accomplishments at various levels. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the junior volleyball team's great Arab achievement, stressing that with determination the players were able to accomplish a new qualitative achievement for Bahraini sports, urging 
encouraging players to develop their skills for future forums. His Highness also urged the team to continue establishing plans and programs that ensure the progressive development of the team's level to ensure real competition for future championships and praise the efforts of the Bahrain Volleyball Association headed by Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also congratulated the volleyball team on winning the title of the 14th Arab Junior Volleyball Championship, adding that their win is a motivation to work harder to compete in the 19th World Cup Finals that will be held in Bahrain from the 18th to the 27th of August and wish the team success. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Nasser on the occasion, affirming that it came as a result of the wise leadership's unlimited support of the youth and sports sector in the kingdom, which contributed to enhancing the performance of athletes and developing the sport. Labor Fund, Temkin offered its patronage and support to be a strategic partner of the initiative of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. An agreement was signed in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, Temkin Chief Executive Officer, Ibrahim Janahi, Director of Media Office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, Umar Abdul Aziz Bukamal, and a number of officials in the Ministry and Temkin. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Temkin for its continued support and strategic partnership to the initiatives of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad in the sports, cultural and humanitarian fields, noting its contributions which led to the success of the various initiatives of His Highness. He hailed the efforts of Temkin's officials, highlighting their strategic partnership which focused on supporting the youth sector. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that Temkin's partnership reflects a successful community partnership between Bahraini companies to support youth in all fields. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for the Disabled, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today at Al Wadi Palace National Para Athletic Team member Fatma Abdul Razak, who won the gold medal in the F53 category shot put competitions in the World Para Athletics Championship recently held in London in the presence of the national team coach Khalifa Abdullah Khalifa. Present with His Highness was Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation Chairman Sheikh Mohammed bin Daid Al Khalifa. His Highness 
Prince conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the members and affiliates of the Federation and to Fatma Abdelazak on the occasion of the outstanding achievement. His Highness also conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid expressed pride in Abdelazak, saying that her dedication and perseverance led to the exceptional achievement. He hailed the distinguished efforts of Bahraini Sports Federation for the disabled in preparing athletes for international championships. Sheikh Khalid received a commemorative gift from Sheikh Mohammed bin Taj Al Khalifa on the occasion. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed hailed the support of the leadership to sports for the disabled. He also praised the support of His Honor Sheikh Khalid to the Federation and its affiliates. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,323.74 points, marking a decrease of 0.64 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the investment sector and investors traded mainly in the insurance sector with 17.68% of the total shares. 39 transactions included 2,697,580 shares worth 516,743 Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 